Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be using a new eyeshadow palette. We are going to use the new Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes palette. I think this is the most I've ever been asked about a product since this was released a few days ago. I've gotten comments, Instagram messages asking if I'm going to be reviewing this and if you know me, you know that this is right up my alley. I love neutrals. I love a little bit of shimmer. I love the wet eyelid look. So I feel like this palette was right up my alley. So we're going to be trying it for the first time today. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's just go ahead and get into it. Alright, so this is the Ethereal Eyes palette and it retails for $68. It is definitely on the pricier side in terms of eyeshadow palettes. However, I have high hopes for this. So I have not swatched or anything yet. I did open it up yesterday when it came in the mail just to look at it, but I haven't touched it. So this is what it looks like. It is kind of a matte, a soft matte finish on the packaging. It looks different from his original palettes, the Master Mattes and the uh, more metallic palette. So this is what it looks like. You do get a really big mirror here. Mine still has the protective covering over it. You guys, mm, this is so pretty. It's so pretty. I don't want to touch it. I've seen several people asking how this would compare with the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palettes. And obviously, if you know me, you know I love the Patrick Ta Major Dimension palettes. They, I'm sorry if I'm blinding you, they also retail for $68. And you do get 10 powder shades and two cream shades. You get 12 in total. You also get 12 in the Makeup by Mario palette. You do not get any creams in here though. Overall, I would say I definitely thought of the Patrick Ta palette when I saw this, the photos of this palette, but the Patrick Ta palette is definitely overall a warmer palette in my opinion, but obviously I'm gonna swatch some of these shimmery toppers in here and kind of see how they compare to the Makeup by Mario's. But I do think they look different just based on looking at them. Same price, same number of shadows. Okay, let's do some swatches even though I really don't want to mess this up. But I'm going to swatch starting with this cream shade which is EE1 I believe. All right, so that's the creamy color. It feels extremely smooth, like very, 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 very velvety. Then we're gonna move down to this one. Okay, so that one's like a taupey gray, which is very pretty. Then we'll move on to the warmer brown. Okay, moving on to these three beautiful topper shades. I think these are the ones people are most curious about. All right, starting with the top one. Ooh, so that one is like a true champagne. It has like a little bit of silver and gold in it. Moving on to the middle topper, oh. Okay, so I watched his live he did on Monday when this palette came out and he was saying that these actually have a translucent base on them, these topper shades, so you can actually see through them. So you should be able to see the color underneath, I think is what he was saying. These. I can't believe something so thin feeling has that much impact. I'll try to insert swatches in natural light also so you can see. But oh my gosh, those are beautiful. All right, moving over here to this matte, warmer, kind of a peachy brown. 
I'm not the best swatcher either, so <laughs> just keep that in mind. This one is the dusty pink color below there. Get a little bit more of that one. And then this bottom one looks not like one of those toppers, almost like a just a true metallic, but oh gosh, that color is pretty too. It's like a kind of a taupe, kind of in like an aluminum color almost. Wow, that's pretty. Then moving on to the last three brown shades. The first is this beautiful, like warmer brown. Then we have more of a metallic brown. And then this last one is more of like a cool toned deep brown. It's the deepest shade in the palette. So there we have the swatches. And again, I'll try to insert a photo in natural light as well. So you can see based on these swatches, the matte shades, the, the best word I can think of is silky. That's how they feel. They're fine, silky feeling matte eyeshadows. I feel like they're gonna be very easy to blend. Okay, before we move on to the eye look, I did wanna take the original Patrick Ta palette, the original Major Dimension, and swatch these two. So the kind of a white shimmer topper and then this more of a pinky shimmer topper, which I love. I use those two, especially the pink one, all the time. So I really wanna see, I just wanna swatch them with my finger and just kind of look at them. I feel like the closest two would be the pink from the Patrick Ta, which is here, and the Makeup by Mario in the center there. They're definitely similar, I would say. The Makeup by Mario is a little more of a true baby pink. The Patrick Ta almost looks a little peachy, but those two are very similar. It's so hard to tell just from the swatches, but I feel like the Makeup by Mario one definitely looks a bit more wet than the Patrick Ta. They both look like a wet shadow, but not quite as much as these three. But again, I kind of have to put it on my eyes to really see. And then the Patrick Ta palette also has this white shade that's a shimmer topper. They have a different feel to them just in the swatches alone. So I don't know how you're gonna be able to see, but that's the white Patrick Ta. And then that's the top topper shade in the Makeup by Mario. I don't know how to explain it, but the Makeup by Mario ones just have a different feel and look. Like there's just something about the wet look on these. Okay, let's go in to the palette. I'm first gonna go into, well, actually I'm gonna use the cream shade and I'm gonna put this all over. So I'm going to put it on the lid and then bring it all the way up to the brow. So that's just a standard cream shadow, which is always good to have. I did also prime my eyes already. Now I want to go into this shade. So this warm brown. And I'm going to apply this as the main crease shade and kind of drag it out here. So that blended instantly, essentially. <laughs> that was not in any way difficult to blend at all. The mattes do have a little bit of kick up in the pan, but that honestly does not bother me as long as the blend is there, which based on this shade, it appears that it is. That doesn't bother me. So that is a perfect crease shade in my mind. Deeper than my skin tone, not too deep, but okay, the blend on that is 10 out of 10. 
And the, again, the thing that I keep thinking is silky. That's how they feel, like silk. Okay, I really wanna use a little bit of this shade, so the more gray toned matte. And for this, I'm switching brushes to more of a tapered brush. And I kinda of wanna just focus this right here. So I'm not really blending this out or anything. I just kind of want to focus it here where I can actually feel the crease of my eye. Just to add a little bit of depth. I also really like to mix warm shades and cool shades because that first shade we used was definitely a little bit warmer. This is much more of a cool tone. I think it looks pretty to mix the two. I'm just doing the same thing over here. And again, this one is blending very, very well. Oh yeah, those two colors together are very pretty. I'm gonna do this brown, which is kind of a warmer camely, well, not really camely, it's just a warmer mid-toned brown. With this, I'm gonna apply this in the outer corner. and just kind of feather it right there. That's a beautiful color also. I'm gonna go back into the first brush we used and just kind of feather over everything. Okay, yeah, so again, the blend on this is 10 out of 10 so far. I really wanna use this shade, so this gold topper. It's kind of like a tan topper, I guess. And so I'm gonna take, I mean, look at that, you guys. All right, let me get really close so you can see. And he also suggested applying these with your finger, which is what I would normally do anyway. There's something very special about these, or just based on this one, this topper. The wet look, I mean, it is there. Like, there's shimmer, but it's super fine shimmer particles. Y'all know me, I love this type of eye look. I do this all the time. Okay, so that was that bottom golden topper shade. Okay, I'm switching to a really small brush. This is the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A504. I'm gonna go into this brown. So this is not the deepest brown, the second deepest brown. It's a, I would say like a milk chocolate color. And I'm just gonna kind of Concentrate this even more right here on this outer corner. And I'm keeping my eye open for the most part because my eyes are more hooded. So I can really place the shadow better if I leave my eye open. Love that shade. Browns are normally very telling too with eyeshadow. I feel like if a palette isn't that great when you go to put a brown on it's it can be pretty telling it can be kind of patchy and just not the smoothest color so if it goes on initially very smooth that's definitely a good sign because in my experience that's not always the case with browns I guess for the lower lash line, I will do, I'm gonna mix actually, the first shade we use and the second shade, so that lighter brown and the gray. And I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line. I am now gonna go back into the first shade, so this shade here, and I'm gonna take that same brush we've been using to kind of blend. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that shade. I'm gonna take this chocolate brown. So this is the darkest shade in the palette. 
I'm using my BK Beauty 208 brush and I'm gonna line my eyes with this as I normally would, just the outer half. And then I'm gonna drag it out and do a little bit of a wing, just a small one. That brown is very good too. I love how soft these shadows feel in here and not texture wise, even though the texture is also kind of soft, but the colors themselves, the way they look, the way they apply, they just, it's a very soft color story, which I really like. All right, I think that's about everything I'm gonna do on the eyes, I will say I do have some glitter fallout, which I would assume that I would considering how tiny and reflective the shimmer is and these, yeah, I mean, there's a good bit there for sure. So if that bothers you, maybe use a glitter glue or do your eyes first. I don't love to do my eyes first, that's why I didn't. But there is some fallout with that. I'm assuming most of it is coming from that glitter topper that we used, but you know, that just kind of comes with the territory. The Patrick Ta toppers do the same thing. Before I apply mascara, I'm gonna take the Makeup by Mario pencil in the Perfect Brown. I know these have been out of stock for a long time. I'm pretty sure I heard him say in his live video the other day that they're coming back. I wanna say he said next week. So if you've been trying to get this, they should be coming back in stock soon. It's amazing eyeliner for your waterline. So I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara and lips, and then I'll come back and show you the final look and give you my final thoughts on the palette. All right, you guys, this is the final look, and I wanted to go over my thoughts on this palette so far. Obviously, I've only used it one time. Do I think it's worth $68? Yes, I do. I did get mine 20% off from Sephora since the sale's going on right now and I am a rouge at Sephora. So I was able to save 20%. Even if I was not, I would still pay $68 for this palette. I would say the same about my Patrick Ta palettes. You guys know how I feel about those. To me, yes, $68 is expensive. If you're gonna use this, if you like these colors, if you like some shimmer on your lids and you love this kind of, just like the name says, ethereal look, I think you will be 100% satisfied with this palette. I honestly think the mattes in here are some of the easiest to blend that I've tried, like ever, of all eyeshadow palettes. The Patrick Ta mattes are also easy to blend. I they are definitely a different formula though. The Patrick Ta is easy to blend, but it's a bit of a thicker formula. It's not so thin and fine and silky. Still easy to blend, but there's something about the formula on the mattes on the Makeup by Mario that's just very, very, very good. Very, very easy to blend. I mean, it takes no effort at all with any of the shades that I used, which I use most of the mattes in here. I did not use, or I did use all the mattes. I used them all except the pink right here, and I had no issue blending any of them, none. Almost feel like this is kind of a mix between the Major Dimension palette and the Major Dimension rose from Patrick Ta. Since you do get neutrals, but you also get a little bit of the pink tones with that dusty rose color in the Patrick Ta palette. I know a lot of people are gonna be wondering how these compare. They're just different. Yes, they kind of remind me of each other, but this one is definitely warm. I mean, you're not gonna get a cool toned look with this, whereas this one you definitely could, but you can definitely go warm. This one I feel like is more neutral of a palette because you can do both, which I really like. I feel like most eyeshadow palettes tend to lean one way or the other. This one is very soft and definitely has a bit of a cool color story to it, but because of some of the undertones of some of these shades, you could definitely go warm. Like this topper I used with this shade here 
is very warm. This topper I used is warm. This shade here is warm. But then you have this shade, which is cool, 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 cool. I feel like it's a really good mix. And I think the quality is there. I know that I will continue to use this. So for me, it is definitely worth it. If you already have the Patrick Ta palette and you're happy with it and you don't feel like you're missing any colors, do you have to have this one? No, obviously nobody needs an eyeshadow palette, but for me and what I like and what I gravitate towards, this is right up my alley. So if you like the kinds of things I like, I think you will not be disappointed with this palette. I think the quality is amazing and I absolutely love the eye look. Kind of reminds me of like a fairy tale type of eye. I don't know. When I see this, I think of fairies for some reason. Fairies, fantasy, ethereal, like the name says. It definitely is a great name for this palette. That's exactly how it looks and how it feels to me. So yes, if you're wondering my opinion, I do think it's worth it. Yes, it is expensive. It just kind of depends on what you want and what you're looking for. If you have tons of neutral palettes, is this gonna be worth it for you? Probably not. I do have a lot of neutral palettes and I wanted it anyway because that is what I love, that's what I use, and I'm very happy with this purchase. Like I said, if I didn't get 20% off, I would have still bought this if that helps you, and I don't regret it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will definitely use this again in future videos. I love it and I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be like my Patrick Ta palette is. I can, I can already tell just by using it this first time. I love my Patrick Ta palette and this one is gonna be up there with that one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. I will list and link everything else I have on my face also. If you are curious, I did wanna say the lip combo because I love it and it is also from Makeup by Mario. It is this little lip lift kit that I got in my Sephora haul. This is the Mauve Nude Color Story. So you get the Smoky Pink Liner and the Erin Lipstick. So that is the liner and lipstick I have on. And then I topped it with his Moisture Glow in Nude Glow. And it is perfection. I love it so much. But I will list and link everything below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.